Hello guys and welcome to another artsy video. I've been meaning to do this video for a little while now, but it has been a very busy schedule this year. So today I'm gonna do an art supply review and the supplies I'm gonna review are the chameleon pens. I will leave a link down in the description to where you can purchase them if you find them interesting. So the chameleon pens are a brand new type of markers that allows you to do many different shades of the same color with one pen only. So if you want a lighter violet or a medium violet or a darker violet, you can do that with the same marker and I will go more into details in just a moment. Since I were a bit curious about these new markers, I actually contacted the company that are making these and asked if I could get some pens to try out and review here on my channel. And they sent me this huge set with 22 pens in it, super awesome, so thank you to them. I also want to mention that I did not get paid to do this video, all things I say are my own and honest opinions. So let's take a closer look on the box and what's inside. So the first thing I notice is of course the packaging. It comes in a very luxurious cardboard box that you can fold out on the top like so and make into a very nice pen stand. I will start with this booklet and it tells you all about the markers and how they work and how to use them. So everything you will need to know about the chameleon pens is in here and there's even a color chart on the back with all the available colors and I actually think that there are even more colors available now after I received this set a few months ago. So yeah, this is very handy. I also got a package of spare pen nibs which is great, that means you can replace a pen nib if they break. So this set got 22 pens in it and they are 20 colored markers but also one colorless blender pen and one fine liner. The cool thing is that besides that all the markers and the colorless blender pen are all double ended the fine liner is double ended as well so at one end it got this 0.4 millimeter nib and at the other end it got the 0.6 millimeter so yeah that is really smart I think I really like that and then to the markers themselves that are alcohol based and they comes in two different parts one with a actual pen and one with a so-called mixing chamber that I will talk more about in just a second. The pen got one regular bullet nib at one end and at the other end it got this very special and a bit delicate brush nib and it's apparently super soft and a bit fragile apparently so to make it last longer you should use a pretty light pressure when drawing but then if it would wear out or break you can just replace it with one of the spare nibs. So they don't got any wider chisel nib as regular markers. The mixing chamber is where all the magic happens. It's filled with colorless ink, the same as in the colorless blender pen I think. As I mentioned before with these pens you can get a range of color shades with one pen only. So you can use it as a normal marker and you will get one color. But if you want a lighter tone, you just take the mixing chamber and put it on top of the pen so that the nib inside of the mixing chamber touches the pen nib and then you just hold it upright with the chamber on top. What happens now is that the colorless ink in the mixing chamber goes down into the pen nib, mixes with the ink and makes it lighter and the longer you hold it like this, the lighter color you will get. About 20 to 30 seconds will give you the lightest color and it will gradually go back to the darker color again while drawing. I made this color chart so you can see what all the colors looks like. It also makes it easier for me later when I'm going to use them. So you can see here that you get a pretty wide range of all the different shades depending on how long you mix them. Here you can also see the fine liner. Also, the pens and the mixing chambers are refillable, so you don't need to get new pens when they run out of ink. Alright, I think that's all about the pens and how they work. Let's try them out and I'll tell you more about what I think about them. So the first thing I'm trying out is the fine liner and I think it's great that they included one in the set and that it's double ended, it's a really nice touch. One thing I didn't like though is that the pen itself is pretty thick, 
uh, which makes it hard to handle when making finer lines. And I can understand that the markers have to be thicker to hold all the ink, but I don't think a fine liner need to be this thick. So it's a bit clumsy, but other than that it made really nice lines and the ink is very pigmented and didn't smudge. I was a bit curious on the skin tones in the set and I also wanted to try the pens on both smaller and larger areas. That's why I made this girl that has both larger areas to color and finer details. There are some pros and cons with these pens, as with all art supplies, no one is perfect. So let's talk about my biggest problems with the chameleon pens first, that I struggled the most with, but then I will also mention things that I think is great with the pens. Even if the chameleon pens are a bit different from regular markers, they are still very similar in some way. So I will compare them to regular markers because that's what I'm used to work with. I also want to add that I am a beginner at using these kinds of pens, so don't judge the pens after my skills or non-skills. You can use the chameleon pens just as they are, but if you are using the mixing chamber thing, which is the whole point of the pens, you have to work from lighter to darker shades, which I normally do when using normal marker. I lay down the lighter shade first and then I add the darker ones, but with these pens you don't really know when the color will turn darker again, and it could happen when you are right on a spot that you want to be lighter. So it was a bit of a gambling I think, and it was hard to control. I found myself using the blender pen a lot, trying to even out the colors afterwards. I think it said in the information booklet that you can draw on a paper until you get the desired shade, which is a good tip, but I also feel like you are wasting a lot of ink in that way. Then when you finally get the shade you want, it doesn't really last for very long and the larger area you are working on, the quicker it turns darker again. So you cannot be expecting to fill in a larger area with one solid color that isn't the darker unmixed one. Another thing that bothered me just a little is the waiting time for the pens to blend in a mixing chamber. And I know it's not much time to wait, but it kind of interrupted the flow when drawing. But then you could also mix many colors in one go and save time in that way. I also noticed that some of the pens turned out a little streaky after mixing them with the colorless ink, which didn't look that pretty, but I guess you can avoid that if you are turning the mixing chamber while mixing, so the colorless ink goes on the whole pen tip. So that's the parts I had some trouble with, let's talk about the good parts. One of my favorite things with the chameleon pens is the brush nib. I absolutely love the brush nib. I didn't even use the other bullet nib. It was a little delicate and fragile, but as long as you use a light hand, it worked really well. You could do both finer and thicker lines, and it was perfect to use for the hair since you get this brush effect. And even if I had some trouble to blend one color, the colors blended well together on the paper, and the colors also turned out to be very vibrant and clear. As I mentioned before, the pens were a little tricky to use on larger areas, but I think they worked great on smaller ones, especially if you could color it in with one pen stroke, when you didn't have to do the mixing routines many times on one area, like on the eyes, the lips, the flowers and the earrings. I can really see how the pens and the different shades can come in handy when you don't have many colors to work with. I also think that idea to have less pens but still get many different color shades is great. I have super many markers myself, more than I probably need, just so I'll get all the different color tones. But with these pens you'll get at least 8 to 10 different shades with one pen only at least according to the box the pens came in. And sure, these pens are a little more pricey than normal markers, but then on the other hand you don't need as many. If you have 5 pens you will get 50 different shades, sort of. Yeah, and sure, they are a little tricky to work with, but it's coming from me, a person who has been working with regular marker for almost 10 years now, and I only tried these pens like two times, so I'm sure that with a little practice you will get the hang of it, and you will be able to create awesome art with them. I've seen a lot of amazing artwork done with the chameleon pens. So, would I recommend the chameleon pens? 
Yeah, maybe not to anyone who is used to regular markers and is happy the way it is. Then they might be frustrating to work with. It's a little like driving a car that goes left when you are turning right. But if you think it's fun to try out new supplies and are open to new ways to draw, then absolutely. Or if you're still new to markers overall or is trying to find out what supplies you like the best, I think it's good to be a little open-minded at least. You will have to practice a little of course, but you have to practice with all new supplies you try. So if you think the chameleon pens are something for you, then just go for it. They are high quality pens, so it will be a good investment. Alright, so let's sum it all up, and there are probably more things that I could have mentioned, but these are the things I noticed the most and felt most important to me. So let's start with the things I thought were less good. A little clumsy to use, especially the fine liner since you are using it for finer lines, but also the markers themselves, they could have been shaped more to fit the hand. The waiting time, as I mentioned, even if it's not much time to wait for the colors to mix or blend, it interrupted the flow a little. Sometimes a little streaky after mixing them, not all markers did that though. Hard to use on larger areas, you can't really fill in a larger area with one solid color that isn't the unmixed one, but if you are using the unmixed base color, it would work just fine, I guess. Hard to predict the color change. As I mentioned, it was a bit of a gambling to tell when the colors would turn darker again, especially when working on lighter parts. I also feel like you are wasting a lot of ink drawing on another piece of paper to get the shade that you actually want. So yeah, the parts I didn't like, I think is mainly because I'm actually not used to work with these markers. And now to the parts that I thought were great with these markers. Awesome brush nib, yes I love the brush nib, it was really nice and fun to work with. And it's great to know that you can replace them if they would wear out. Vibrant colors that blended well, the colors looks very nice and pigmented and they blended well together as well as any other markers. Many color tones with one marker, which is the whole point of these markers, that you will need less pens but still get many different color tones. I really like that idea, even if I had a little trouble with execution. They are refillable, so you don't need to purchase new pens whenever they run out of ink. Can still be used as regular markers. They work great just as they are, even if you don't use the mixing chamber. Fun, new and creative, it's always fun to try out new ways to draw and I think this is a very new and creative way to use markers. So I think that sums it all up, most of it anyway. That's my personal thoughts and experiences about the chameleon pens and please let me know what you think of the chameleon markers if you have tried them so that the people that are thinking about trying them out will get the larger picture. Feel free to check the link in the description and I hope you found this review helpful and interesting. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for even more reviews in the future. Thanks for watching and keep on drawing my happy cats. Bye!